Hey guys, Dan Howman back with another Watcher of Realms video. Today is going to be a fairly quick video. We're going to go through the patch notes for the Forerunner server. We have a big buff on the girl up top of uh, Volka, so we're going to go through that. But first, I want to check out the Gear Forge. I did a little bit of farming last night and got a couple... Uh, oops, got a couple of the forge materials, so let's do a couple of these and see if we get anything cool. Let's go. Um, okay, so what's that we got here? So this is the left-hand side. We get crit damage attack and healing and rage regen. Okay, let's see if we get anything cool. Azor, let's go. Okay, we started with a poo-poo piece. Um, crit damage 40 and attack plus 10. Is it worth having a bad piece? Probably not. Uh, we'll just keep it just, uh, until we get a couple more pieces here and then we'll kind of clear out some of these. That one was really bad. Okay, this one at least, oh, this, and then we get the healing set and we get a damage piece. Okay, that one is definitely useless. Um, yeah, that one's definitely useless. Why? Why can't those pieces be switched? Okay, and then now we'll go over here, we'll do a couple of these ones and see if we get anything cool over here. So this is the right hand side, the three piece sets. And ultimate damage triggered, increases damage, and we got attack, crit rate, and flat attack. Okay, so, oh, it's a flat HP ring. <laughs> this is the right side, uh, not the left side. Okay, never mind. Um, man, I'm just gonna leave a couple of these locked for a little bit just to complete a set. But uh, we'll probably get rid of those very quickly. Another flat attack ring. Damage reduction blocked. This one's really bad. Um, so this one's a tank piece with defense. And we have attack. So that one's not going to be useful. It's flat attack also. We'll try again. Not, not very lucky today. And another flat. Okay, do they give you percent stats? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's only flat stats on these sets. That's to make them even with the other ones. Okay, another um, flat stat tank ring awful. Okay, that was terrible. That was absolutely and utterly awful. Uh, okay, let's go. All right, so now we'll talk about the Forerunner patch notes. So I have posted them on my website. Just go to danheilman.com. And then if you go up here to Watcher of Realms Forerunner patch notes, we have the patch notes listed right here. I have all of them, not all of them, but most of them listed in here. So feel free to take a look. I also have, uh, okay, so this is Forerunner, guys. So this is the beta server. This is the server that gets all of the updates before us. So this will go live um, this week, and then eventually it will come to the global server, okay? So we talked about the poison nerf last time. It's gonna be unfortunate for Mr. Kook, but um, today we have a buff. A buff. We haven't had a buff in a while. Let's go. So Volca is getting buffed. Very cool. Now, an interesting thing is, is she's getting an entire another tile of attack, which is very good. Um, fighters that have a range of two are a lot more rare than fighters that have a range of one. So I think this is going to be huge. And it also gives her five enemies instead of three they did not change the damage they just give it more range and more aoe which is really cool okay now before when the hero has five stacks of scarlet ferment each attack consumes two stacks dealing extra damage to 10 adjacent allies and inflicting 30 percent damage reduction on them lasting x seconds okay so then we moved it to this one here five stacks each attack consumes two dealing within two tiles okay so they increase the aoe and that's it oh okay they just increased the aoe nice so more range more targets and then even this ability has more range as well and then awaken five deals 30 percent extra damage to enemies inflicted with debuffs after deals 45 percent during the ultimate her passive consumes one stack it's weird though that she does damage based on debuffs when she doesn't land a debuff, does she? Let's go look at her real quick and just see, um, where are you? Where are you, girl? Where are you, girl? Here you are. Mine is A4. Um, soon we'll be able to get A5. That would be pretty cool. 30% extra damage, um, when they're inflicted with debuffs. She doesn't have a debuff though, does she? Oh, she does. 
Oh, I guess this would be a debuff. Okay. So she gets that. Okay. 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 All right. That's pretty cool. So she's going to have some increased range now. If you look right now, she if you go to details, you can see only one range. So this would be pretty cool having this. Um, I think she's... I think she's a cool hero, um, and I think she's going to be a lot better now with the increased range, honestly. So you get increased range, you get more AoE, and you're going to get more damage once she gets A5. You do have to get pretty far into Tide to get A5 going, but I think she's a cool hero because a lot of people bring her along just for her passive ability right here. Um, allies redeployment time minus 25%. So a lot of people use her just for this. And then now maybe people are going to use her a little bit more often um, for a little bit of damage. I will definitely be testing her out once this buff um, goes live on global server. I don't have a Forerunner server, so I can't test that, unfortunately. I would love to have a Forerunner server, but they will not give me one. Um, so, okay. That's going to be pretty much it for the video. What else we got going on in the game? We should have... Um, oh, we have GR4 coming. I'm going to try to get some guides going on that. Um, I've heard there's also a bug. I guess we'll talk about some other things real quick before we finish the video. I've heard there's some bugs with events. I've heard some people only have certain events. Some people don't have... Wasn't there supposed to be a different event starting? Um, if we go here. Where is, oh God. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. What's today? 27th. Tales of the Smith. Yeah, okay. I don't know what's going on. Tales of the Smith was supposed to open today, but it's not there. Brave Conquest, Tales of the Smith. Should be open on Wednesday. Brave Conquest and Tales of the Smith. Brave Conquest is here. There is no Tales of the Smith. Okay, so there's definitely a bug. I don't know what's going on. Um, some people don't have any events at all in here. I saw a screenshot of someone who's been playing a while um, and literally doesn't have any events they have like one event here so there's a bug it's been reported we don't know what's going on um and i don't know if you guys saw but it basically looked like they had valderon a screenshot of valderon so i don't know if this banner is going to be a 10x i mean a 15x for valderon or not I don't know because I saw the screenshot. If I pull up Discord real quick, um, if you go into, oh, let me just show you the screenshot of that guy while I'm in here real quick. Yeah, look at this. He's got nothing. He's got literally no events at all. He doesn't even have gear raid four. And I know this, oh no. Oh, there's someone else. Okay, someone else posted a picture, I swear as well. I don't know what's going on here. I swear someone. One of the other guys, yeah, Regulus, I thought posted a picture, but I don't see it now. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I, there's a couple people who have uh, posted pictures of it. Anyways, what did I even come in here for? What did I come in here for? Oh, Valderon, right. Okay, sorry. I totally lost my train of thought. I saw this, and I was like, hmm, what's this picture for? So I guess I can, it's either going to be, they're going to have one of those events, the, the big spender events. Um, I didn't see one of those in the game though, right? Doesn't that, wouldn't that show already if there was going to be one coming? Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know if that would show already. If there was one of those events coming, now I need to go back and find it again. Oh my god. It doesn't really say, but there's an arrival of heroes. I don't know if that means that we're going to be getting one of those big spender banners again. I thought that would show in here, but it's probably too early for that because it would start in a couple days. I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, maybe Valderon's coming. Maybe not. I'm uh, interested to see why they posted this picture. There's always a reason. When they post a picture of someone in Discord, there's almost always a reason why they do it. I don't know if this guy is going to be coming maybe in the big spender of for like the top two players or if he's going to be in a 10x coming or sorry a 15x now which is an awesome buff um, maybe he'll be on a 15x coming I'm not quite sure so uh, we'll have to just wait and see what happens here but that's going to be it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like and that subscribe button if you want to spend money in the game the battle pass just reset I have a link below that will give you a 10 to 15 percent discount over 
the in-game prices on your phone. So uh, if you're interested in that, check the link below. And that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The link for the website is below as well if you want to check it out. It's just my name.com. So that's it. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys.